listen, I gotta go. Now I know you're loving this. <laughs> Take care. Goodbye. Hey, thank God I found you. I need your help. Well, what brings you here for advice? Uh, I'm desperate. No offense. <laughs> None taken. I'm flattered, actually, that you would consider your old daddy a source of counsel. Well, I should warn you, this involves the police. Okay, well, you know my opinion of law enforcement. I try to give it a wide berth, yeah. including offspring and in-laws. Well, um, this is about a case that Dante's been working on for months. Um, someone's been beating up the dancers at Bonds. Yeah, I heard about that. But I thought they arrested somebody. Well, they did. But I think they have the wrong guy. And I was ready to believe that Dolores' husband, Eddie, is the guy, and now I'm not so sure. Based on what? I saw him when they brought him into the station, and he swore that he's innocent. What would you expect him to say? I know. It's just the way that he said it. I believe him. Well, people can be very convincing when their asses are on the line. Yeah, but watching him with Dolores, I didn't get the impression that he hit her. She just didn't seem physically afraid of him. Why do you care so much about this? Because I am the one who made Eddie a suspect. I suggested that Dolores may have tampered with evidence, which implies she's covering for someone, and it's not that big of a stretch to assume it would be her husband. That sounds reasonable. Yeah, but what's reasonable isn't always right, and if I set this in motion and Eddie's innocent, then I'm helping the attacker get away with it. Okay, okay. Now, what I'm hearing is that you are basing your whole case on what Eddie told his wife. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. It's just, it's, he loves her so much. Love doesn't guarantee honesty. Eddie's human, humans lie. Unfortunately, especially to people they love. I understand that people can love and lie and justify it, but what I saw between Eddie and Dolores felt real. I, I feel like he was telling her the truth. Okay, I got that you uh, feel very strongly about this, but Lulu, you're basing your whole conclusion on this feeling. Yeah, but you're always telling me to trust my instincts. Well, yeah, you should. You have great instincts. I, uh, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this is a police matter, and you should probably discuss it with your cop. Well, it, it's another feeling... Uh, but I think that the real attacker is someone who's actually close to Dante. Well, if you think it is somebody that works with Corinthos, you're wrong, because Sonny would never put up with somebody no, who's... it's not Sonny. Um, I think the attacker's another cop. Dante's friend, Ronnie Domestico. Ronnie and Dante have known each other for years. They, they know each other's families. Ronnie mentored Dante when he was a rookie. Dante's not going to want to believe that Ronnie's the attacker. I don't want to believe it. Okay, well, why don't you try to make me believe it? Let's hear your theory. Okay, um, Dante was taking photos of a crime scene on his phone, and he was uploading them to his work computer when they were mysteriously deleted. Inside job? It has to be. And Ronnie knew about these pictures? Yeah, he was there when Dante took them. But you didn't actually see Ronnie delete the photos? No. But it was right around the time when Ronnie became overly involved in the case. He wasn't interested in it before no. then? He wasn't, he wasn't even part of the investigation, and then all, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he turns up a suspect. I mean, the guy had an alibi, and he was murdered a week later. I guess supposedly a mugging. Well, that's convenient. So yeah. say you're right. How does this all fit with the evidence about uh, Eddie and Dolores? Yeah, and well, Ronnie and Dante found photos of the victims in a shoebox in the back of Eddie's closet. So you're saying maybe Ronnie planted the shoebox? I mean, Eddie was so surprised when they confronted him on the pictures, and I logged all the photos, they were of the girls on stage, so there's nothing tying it to Eddie except where they found it. Well, that makes a nice clean out for Ronnie throwing Eddie under the bus. Yeah, I pointed him right to Eddie. Oh, baby, you've got yourself a real problem here. I know, I just, I don't want to see the wrong guy get accused again, but I don't want someone innocent taking the blame when the guilty party's going to get away with it. First of all, you've got to proceed with caution. There's nothing worse than having an enemy who's violent and has a badge. So you need solid proof. Okay, how do I get that? You don't. Somebody official does. 
You're telling me to turn it over to the department. I know, I'm usually the last guy to say involve the cops, but you're my daughter and there's somebody out there smacking women around. Jim, I don't want you in over your head. I have access to the evidence room and computers. You have access to a husband with clearance and jurisdiction. So I just tell Dante that his oldest friend might be a stalker who beats up women. No, you sit him down and you explain your theory to him just like you did to me. He'll understand, he'll know what to do. You didn't get sober and sane, did you? Oh, hell no. Don't worry about that. Okay. I just got a little smarter. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thank oh, you. I love you. Be careful. I appreciate you talking to me. Sure, anytime. What are you doing with these? Oh, those are Anna's. Anna Devane. She's living here with me. I'm helping out an old friend. Hmm. Have you told her that you lied to Robert about Ethan being his son? No. That would be the last thing I'd tell her. You don't think she's going to feel a little more betrayed now that she's living with you? Well, so much for a little smarter. Okay, just be careful. Yeah, you be careful. You be careful. I will. <laughs> I mean it. Uh, Dante here? Uh, he left a while ago. I'm not sure if he's coming back or not. Okay. Thank you. 